Welcome to the second series of the virtual accounts workshop. In this video, we are going to understand a bit of the IT architecture of virtual account management. So this is how the overall layout looks like. At the base, we have the core banking or the DDA where the real accounts are housed. On top of it is the virtual account core, the back office, which houses the virtual accounts. And on top of that, we have the digital layer, or you can say the mobile banking or the internet banking layer, which is used by the corporates to create virtual accounts by themselves without relying on the bank staff. So when the corporates create the virtual accounts at the digital layer, the accounts get created, the virtual accounts get created in the VA core. So the digital layer is for corporates to access, to check balances, to take statements, to create virtual accounts. The VA core is used to link the virtual account to the real account, to store the balances of the virtual account, and also for interest computations, it has got its own interest and charges batch, which does the interest computation. And finally, it calls the API to the DDA to update the balance of the real accounts. Now let's take the VAM structure, which we showed on the first series to understand how the transaction works. So in this flow, you have the corporate ABC, which has two dealers, dealer A and B. So the dealer A is given a virtual account ABC followed by the mobile number so that it's easy for him to remember. Similarly, for sub dealer A1, you have the ABC followed by its mobile number and dealer A2 with ABC and its mobile number. So these are the virtual accounts. This is virtual account, this is virtual account into virtual account and probably it is backed by a real account. The real account probably let's say is one, two, three, four. Now let's assume that an incoming payment happens for sub dealer A1, which is to virtual account ABC 89XX90. So an incoming EFT transaction comes to sub dealer A1. So how will the transaction flow happen? So going back to our architecture, we had the DDA where the real accounts are placed, the VA code, which has the virtual accounts, then there is something known as the API gateway, which acts as an integration layer to all the other channels, which accepts payments. Now in this example, we had seen an incoming EFT coming in for sub dealer A1. So an incoming EFT coming in for sub dealer A1. So it calls the API gateway, hits the VA core. Secondly, the VA core it updates the balances of the virtual accounts for the complete hierarchy. Then it calls the API of the DDA, but when it calls the API, it actually translates the virtual account to the underlying real account. Remember the mapping of the virtual account to the real account is here. So it does the translation and then hits the DDA. And of course the real account balances are updated to the DDA. So we hope that this simple architecture illustrates and explains how the entire flow of a virtual account happens. In the next series, we are going to understand more about the key benefits and the future usage of virtual accounts. Thank you.